American comic books are in a terrible spot. And it's in a time, or rather during a time, in which they should be at its peak because you have a lot of attention on it. This is a concept that so many people are intrigued by. Um, um, you've seen the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We're pumping out billion dollar films. DC has a couple under their belt. Comic books should be as big as they've ever been, but they're not. They get progressively worse, and that's the perfect term, progressively. Uh, they're going in the tank, and they continue to get outperformed by the Japanese. Now, I'm glad, and I'm not the biggest manga guy. I have some manga. But a lot of you guys send me manga. But I appreciate their existence as a guy that used to be like heavy in anime. But I appreciate their existence because what they do is prove everything to the contrary that people say are the problems with American comics in terms of their lack of sales. And what I mean by that is that there's a lot of comic pros. There's a lot of people who simply do not want to come to terms that they're in a terrible spot. So they make excuses. Oh, they, they don't sell as well as because things have gone digital. Okay. How do you explain MAGA? Not just growing out out the other on the other side side of the globe, but out west they're growing. How do you explain that? Oh well, nobody will listen to or rather watch or read um, new new characters, so we have to tokenize this character. Okay, why do they get to pump out continuously new uh, uh, properties, concepts? That, that were not a thing before with new characters and, and what have you, like Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is only like two years old, y'all. It's like the most, it's the highest selling, like everything. Highest watch, most watch, highest selling. So it proves a lot to the contrary, not just because it's growing out there. It's showing that people are thirsty for this stuff because it's, it's growing here. It's growing out in the West. According to NBD, uh, uh, book scans the top of 20 adult graphic no novels every single damn one of them were, were was manga American comic books didn't make any of the top 20 guys this is fucking terrible now obviously you know you got a couple of these like the demon slayers of the world and my hero academia as they run the show okay a bunch of them. But you mean to tell me not even any of them? Any of those little crappy graphic novels uh, that they put out there? These stupid little novels with, uh, uh, you know, they put Gotham High and uh, uh, weird weird self-inserts. Uh, my, my mother or, or Starfire's daughter and all type of dog shit that absolutely nobody asks for. You mean to tell me that can't make the, that can't make the top 20? Nothing makes the top 20. Are you are you kidding me? None of the uh the actual graphic novels. I get yeah, this isn't single issues. We're talking about graphic. It doesn't matter. Any of them, they should they should be on this list. They're not. It's because they're trash. It's the reality that if you are an American creator. You should see this if you're in the big, at least with the big two. You should see this as, as wearisome. Now, it's, again, this isn't not the Japanese. I, I love that they're out there doing their thing and they're out there, out there competing. But American comics are in a terrible spot. You have in a time where the growth should be through the roof. It's going the opposite direction. Now, the explanation for that isn't that difficult. They only try to make it difficult because they will never concede. Sorry, God, I'm scratching my nose constantly because it is these sciences uh, or allergies, rather. Nonetheless, you see that that they're bad or in a bad spot because of their content. That's something that they'll never concede. They're they're terrible. Everybody else has to be the problem. Toxic 
toxic people, the actual customers, right? The actual ones that that actually re- read books. You call them toxic man babies. You have you have pros that you hire to write write for you um, that simply have made enemies out of half of their consumers uh, and, and customers alienated them because they didn't vote in the direction that they like. They made it abundantly clear. And that's the, you know, I guess that's the positive thing about the social media is that it has allowed us more connectivity with these guys. And they have made it pretty clear that they will use their platform that they have to hate you. And not only that, they put out work that appeals to people that don't read books. Period. They just don't read them. So they sit on a shelf. They, they, they appeal to cosplayers and blue haired weirdos. That's who they're appealing to that makes Twitter stan accounts and become experts on characters that they Googled on a Wikipedia fandom site three minutes ago. That's who they're appealing to. Not people that are actual customers that drive and look forward to driving up there or used to every Wednesday. And they have an actual pull list. Those are not the people that they are trying to sell or, or, or catering to. They are writing books for people that don't read books. And that's why it's in a tank. It's simple as that. They'll never concede it. Because they don't want to have to admit that they're part of the problem. The Japanese are destroying American comics in the West. Now, to me, as far as I'm concerned, that's unacceptable. That's fine. We're going to come up. I told y'all all all the stuff that we got going up, uh, you know, with me in the future. And, you know, guys like myself and other independent creators like the EVSs of the world that have managed to sell uh, literally millions of dollars worth of worth of merchandise and books surrounding their characters we're going to show them how to do it now they can see it as not legitimate doesn't matter to me just because uh it it, it isn't funneled through the traditional means does not mean that it isn't that's for the customers to determine but to act as if the digital issues oh it's piracy that's what they blame it on piracy uh, such a digital medium, you know, like nobody powered to manga or anything. No, if your shit was worth purchasing, people would buy it. You're part of a, 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 a an abun- like this is a medium that is physical. Can you get physical, uh, like digital comics? Of course, but this is a physical medium. It always has been, always will be. It is about having the books in your hand and there are collection aspects that are surrounding all of that. That is an advantage that comic book pros should have, but they don't take advantage of it because they are writing books that are, you know, speaking of the social ills and social preferences of, and it's unbalanced. It's just pure leftism unbalanced. And they made it, made it absolutely abundantly clear that they hate a certain demographic. And a lot of the demographic would be willing to buy the book. So that's fine continue to get destroyed and guys like myself not guys that are part of the big two will continue to attempt to compete and try to build something from the ground up but this is no excuse this is simply no excuse they suck it's that that's just all that it is they, they suck single issues uh graphic novels trade paperbacks they're all trash if they're for the most part coming out right now aside from a few that are coming from the big two period they'll never concede it though